Well, howdy, tubers. Back at it again. I probably should have took a video last night. Um, my best friend Matt was over here last night. Well, actually, yesterday. Well, he was he came to the airport, and then we was helping Mike with his ultra cruiser, and then we got back to my house, and and we got his rudder straightened out i think i told you that he when he did it he didn't he real he realized that he didn't hold down the bottom edge of the rudder when he drilled uh, the rivets in the in the rudder and had the trailing edge of the Bot or the top end of the rudder blocked up at a quarter of an inch, but he didn't weight down the root end of the rudder, and so it got a twist the wrong way. So we drilled out all the rivets in the skin and the and the rivets, and and put her on the floor, weighted one side down or the 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 root end down, and blocked up the other with a quarter inch. Redrilled the Redrilled the holes, rivet her back together, and now he's good to go. And that made him pretty happy. And then I, he needed a. I thought it was going to be an adapter that he was needing for his miracle wheel. I call it the convolute wheel. And uh, then after he, he was discussing it, all that need, all he ended up needing was a bushing that was an inch in diameter and uh, five eighths hole in the metal for the shaft on this uh, belt driven shaft that he's got for his miracle wheel. So uh, got him to doing some lathe work and so he drill or yeah drilled that inch stock aluminum that I had to the 5 8 hole in the middle, cut it a little shorter than the thickness of the miracle wheel and and he, I asked him about that this morning. He said, work like a champ. And then, uh, what else I have? Oh, had him, let me get that. Well, I'm not too sure how much sense this will make, but this, this is mainly, and has to just be, for the scratch builders. And that is, I've got a, a 5 16 aluminum rod that um, Matt put this on the lathe and, and put that taper in there. And then, of course, I haven't got these on here. But then you stick this rod in your hinge, in your hinge holes, right there and there. And then get them out of the way. So, uh, let's see. Now, the, this is what you're doing. On the factory one, of course, these holes are already in here, so it won't need, won't need no, no problem there. And, of course, that goes there. So, it's no problem for me, but the scratch builders, you don't have that. Now, when I built my, well, probably, well, the H5 II and the first Ultra Cruiser, Ah, oh wait, wrong. That's the elevator horn. Sorry about that. Somebody might have caught that. Steve probably would have caught that. Okay, so then this would be the the horn that goes here on the pre pre laser cut holes. Anyways, so that hole that's I don't know if you can see it since I painted it black, but that hole right there, that tapered tapered shaft will go in there, and then that'll all, then when you put that up against, this is after you got the rudder, the rudder all built, and I probably ought to just do this again then when, when it's going to make more sense. And of course this is, this would be all riveted on there and your skins are all riveted on there and then you lay that or run this shaft down between those or down inside those 
those hinges there and there and then when it sticks down below here then hold hold this up there and then that'll put you perfectly alignment for the for you to hold up this edge to the bottom of your undrilled scratch belt rib and that'll give you pretty good alignment and that's what we did on on Matt's rudder last night so this was getting stretched out there but um, well I thought well I'll come and see what's next after doing the elevators because I already of course I've got the elevators done well I know I could stretch this video out of course I got the stabilizer off and I just got it laying up here I need to put it somewhere else so it's more out of the way because on the airplane in here because I've got to get my lawnmower out of here at times won't be won't be too much longer although my neighbor mowed this morning but uh and then of course the elevators are there I got one of the hinge uh horned Clico down there but now what was I going to tell you pause well I'm thinking all I was going to show you is that that I had to stab and the elevator's done and and then what's next I believe of course I've already got these out and that's the parts for the motor mount box so that's what I'm working on will be working on of course I already did the stabilizer already did well that's still part of the stabilizer and of course I did talk to him about where that show that uh, where that show okay when I of course I told him about this at uh, at Hummel and we went and looked at the book and that it's it's about these bolts that go in here but I, oh yeah no yeah no where was that at but it said a, I think it said a dash six bolt that bolts the root ribs to the stab I think it said dash six and it was wrong in the book and of course that's what I grabbed to put on there was dash six and and that was wrong and and they knew that they they knew that that was wrong on these it's right in the on the plans but not on not on here but I'm not finding that where it where it says that but anyways I know this is dragging on so anyway let's get to where I was going so once I get that stuff all done okay yeah then we're on to doing the motor box so like i say before i stretch this out too long there you go hope you all having a good day and god bless